Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Victor and in today's video I will be sharing with you some of my Apple Home automations. So stay tuned. But before we get into my automations, let's talk about smart homes and what the benefits are. Smart homes allow you to have greater control of your energy use, all while automating things like adjusting temperature, turning lights on and off, opening and closing window treatments, and adjusting irrigation based on the weather. To start a smart home, there's a couple of things you need to have. A good Wi-Fi connection is key, smart devices, and a smart hub. In my case, I have Apple Home. What this means is that in order for me to be able to automate the things in my home, I need a home hub. In my case, I can use an Apple TV, HomePod Mini, OG HomePod, or the new HomePod Generation 2. Any of these devices will serve as your home hub. Check out this video up here on the new HomePod. After you hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel and while you're down there don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos now let's get to the automations for automations to work you need an action that will trigger set automation if you are using apple home you can create automations based on people arriving people leaving a time of day when an accessory is controlled or when a sensor detects something you set a condition based on time of day and location. I'm going to share one automation for each of these triggers. So, when people arrive, using my smart garage door opener, I have set an automation that will close my garage door when I leave my house and open it when I arrive. This works by using my phone as the trigger. Once the hub detects that the phone is no longer close to the house, it will then trigger the garage door to close. This works the same way when you arrive home. The smart home detects the phone close to the house and it then sends a command to my garage door to open. This is one of my favorite automation as I was always guilty of leaving my garage door open. When a time of day occurs. Every morning at sunrise, my bedroom blinds and shades open automatically allowing light into the room. And every night at sunset, all the blinds and curtains in my house automatically close. This is pretty cool because I don't have to go around and manually close every blind in my home. And it gives me uh, and my wife a sense of security because we don't have to worry about anyone looking in on us while we are sleeping, if we forget to close the blinds. Another automation trigger is when an accessory is controlled. You can use any accessory in your smart home as a trigger to start an automation. What I mean by this is you can have a light bulb turn on which then can have the smart vacuum turn on and clean. In my automation, I have it set that when the Apple TV turns on, my Samsung TV will also turn on, which then triggers my fireplace to turn on. And when my TV turns off, that will trigger the fireplace to turn off and my nano leaf elements to turn on. Another example of this is in my son's room. When they turn on their Xbox Series S, that triggers their Gobi Dreamview to turn on the blinds and curtains to close, and their LED to turn on, setting an ideal environment for gameplay. And when they turn off the Xbox during the day, the curtains and blinds will open to let light back into the room. Using door and window sensors, you can create automations that will turn on lights in a room once the door is open, and vice versa, turn them off when the door is closed. I found that these types of automations work best for places like pantries or laundry rooms where you won't close the door while still in the room because once you close the door, you will find yourself in the dark. To solve this problem, just have the lights turn on when the door is open and set it to automatically turn off after a set amount of time. Motion sensor automations. Just like the door and window sensors, automations using motion can trigger an action. For example, walking into a room can trigger whatever lights or devices to turn on or off. My daughter likes to wake up in the middle of the night and head to our master bedroom, and she's been doing this since she was a baby. So I set a motion-based automation that will turn on some lights in the living room so she can see where she's going. 
I set this automation to only run from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Setting specific time for automations to run is key for it to work because if not, the lights will just turn on and off all through the day. You can also have multiple automations to control the same device. My driveway lights turn on at sunset to 100% brightness and at midnight, I have an automation that dims them down to 15%. But when my UFI security camera detects motion from midnight to sunrise, it sets them back to 100%. When the camera starts detecting motion, it sets the lights back to 15%. The most rewarding part of having a smart home is being able to make your home work for you using automations. This simplifies your way of living. Don't get me wrong, not all automations will work as you want them, but all you have to do is keep tinkering with them until you get it to work right for you and your family. Guys, for a great video of automations shared by his subscribers, head over to Shane Watley's channel, Shane Creates. That's all for today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.